good morning. Hello, third graders. Um, I'm standing in front of our whiteboard. I was hoping to do our math lesson the way we normally do it, but we just have to do it this way. It's kind of hard, I know, for you to be able to see what's on the board. But the great thing is, is that you have the papers in front of you. So if you haven't yet, please turn to page 235 in your math workbook. Yeah, we're going back. We just did topic seven with all the graphs and all the uh, pictographs. That was really good. Um, we're not taking a test on that because I think everybody has it. Um, well, I know everybody has it, not that I think. But we are going to go back, backwards to page 235, which is topic five. And what we are going to be learning is pretty much going to be a review for us. It's not going to be totally, well, where did this stuff come from? It's going to be stuff we've heard about before. We've already done a lot of this, um, but you might learn some new skills and it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Classic. It's all good. Um, so we are going to be learning how to fluently, which means quickly, multiply and divide within 100. You know, reflex math, you already practice this stuff. We're going to use another tool that might help us. Um, okay, so on page 235, you see this picture um, and we have our kids here and they're talking <laughs> about something we learned about weather. Um, we're not going to do this science project. If you really want to do the science project that they talk about on this page, you can, but it's not required. We don't usually, we sometimes do this, but um, we're not going to do this. We can just read it. And I want you to think, um, let's see. So the weather changes from day to day and from place to place. Scientists look for patterns in the weather. These patterns help them understand different climates. I hope you recognize those words, climates. I predict that there will be math in the forecast. <laughs> Here is a project on weather information and basic facts. What do you think? might be uh, some kind of problem here in this picture. Maybe a uh, route. Doesn't look like they've had rain for a while here. So again, if you want to do research carefully um, and follow these directions here, you may. It is not required. But what is required is to do the next page. So. I do have to click back here and scroll down a second. And today we're going to just review what we know. Um, we're going to review some vocabulary words that maybe you haven't thought about in a couple of weeks before Christmas. Um, so important that we keep these words in our head so we're not like, what are you talking about? I never learned about that. Ah, you did learn about it. So let's review. I'm going to take deep breath. It's all good. Okay. So let's look in this vocabulary box and do some thinking and completing all the sentences. Do it. Okay, I'll pick the blue marker. So on the top of page 236, that's where we are now. Choose the best term from the box and write it on the blank. So let's look at the terms in the box and then figure it out. Dividend. I have my handy dandy vocab cards right here. Here's a dividend. A number to be divided. Okay. Let's, let's, let's think, keep that in our heads. Divisor. Mm. This is pointing to the divider. Um, let's do quotient next. 
quotient is the answer to a division problem. Oh, this is how we set up a division equation again in a different way. Um, here is product, the answer to a what kind of equation? Multiplication equation. And then factor. Factors have the two numbers we always multiply. All right, so now after reviewing what these words mean, let's see, they gave us five, but there's only four questions. Let's see what we can do. The answer to a division problem is called a quotient. That is a Q. You, you don't have to look at the board, you have it on your page. So Q U O T I T N T. And I'm just writing the period again because I wrote over it. Number two. A blank is the answer to a multiplication problem. Oh, it's that. Maybe you're screaming it out. Hopefully you're not screaming. You could just say it. What is the answer to a multiplication equation called? Product. 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 Cross that out. All right, number three, the blank is the number in a division problem that is divided into equal groups. Okay, so we have a division problem. So out of a problem, is this the number being divided into equal groups? Yeah, this is the number we're gonna divide into nine equal groups and there are seven in each group. So yeah, so the dividend. We have two words left and one blank left. Let's see. We multiply a factor by a blank to solve a multiplication problem. What do you multiply by a factor? Let's look at the word factor again. Well, you multiply a factor by a factor. Oh, factor. Multiply a factor by a factor. Those are the two numbers you multiply together. Okay. Let me erase this so I can scroll down. If you need to catch up, just pause the video. Cool thing about videos is ooh, that was loud. you can always rewind. You can go back a couple seconds or start the video over. Okay. Um, let's see. Me, me, me. That works. Okay. I think you can solve these multiplication equations on your own. And division. What was that trick with division? We can always flip it, think about the fact family. Flip that division equation into a multiplication equation. So I'm gonna skip this multiplication section because I think you can do it on your own. I know you can do it, not just think. I keep saying think, I know you can do this. So with division, hmm, 60 divided by six, I think six times what equals 60. So six times something here equals 60. Oh, well, there's a zero at the end. There's two numbers I could multiply, but I for sure know there's a six there, that tricky, that fun trick we have. Six times 10 equals 60. So 60 divided by six equals six times 10. I'll just do one more with you right now. I'll do, I'll skip number 13. You can do that. Let's just do number 14 together. So number 14 says 12 divided by three equals blank. 
we think what? Three times blank equals 12. So the number that's in the blank is going to be the same number in this blank. So I think how many times do I skip count by three to get to 12? Three, six, nine, twelve. How many times is that? Four. So this is review. Maybe you haven't had to use your brain like this in a while, but we have done this. I know you can do it. If you follow this way and you think, how many times can I skip count by this number to get that number? Or what do I always say? Skip count and write it down. That is so helpful. That is a very important tool. Your pencil or your pen that's in your hand that is a very important tool beside your brain. Write it down. Okay. And number 19, I'm skipping these other things because I know you can do them on your own. Number 19 is asking you to use the distributive property. So let me go get that vocabulary. Problem. So this shows the distributive property. We did this a while ago. So you can break up a fact into two smaller facts. So if you have to find four times nine, and they want you to use two facts to find four times nine. So we could do this one together. We have to use those parentheses and we're going to break one of these numbers apart. And we have to use two stacks. Well, nine, not really. Four. Four can actually be broken up into two twos. So let's use those parentheses and I'm just keep it over here. So remember with parentheses, there's one in the front, one in the end, and then we write blank times blank plus blank times blank. Okay. Now we're going to break the four up into two twos. So two times blank, nine. The nine stays the same. And then Two times nine. That nine stays the same again. It's just the four that we're breaking it. So now we solve it. What's two times nine? Hopefully, you know this super best. 18. 18 plus 18. I'm going to have you solve that on your own. And you write down your answer. And when we all get back next week, I'll check all the answers in your books like I normally do at school. Okay, so that's it for our math lesson today. Thank you.